Right now, Georgia is holding steady on our COVID-19 metrics. Uh, according to the Georgia DPH, we're seeing less than 900 new cases per day on average. This is really good news. So in January, we were tracking the numbers over 21,000. The state's test positivity rate is uh, holding steady below 3%, and we have not seen this metric consistently this low since the beginning of June last year. Another metric we're watching slowly climb down is deaths. On average, we're losing about 40 Georgians per day to the virus. Order test kits, stock up on N95 masks, get vaccinated if you've never been vaccinated, get your third shot if you haven't done it yet, Get your fourth shot if you're immunocompromised. This is the time to get all of those things done. Tonight, health officials are warning the public to stay vigilant as the BA2 variant continues to grip Europe. This would be the sixth variant to emerge since the start of the pandemic. Dr. Jane Morgan is the executive director of the Piedmont Healthcare COVID-19 Task Force. She tells us we could see the surge hit America within three to five weeks. She says the U.S. BA2 subvariant has the same properties as the Omicron variant, but is about 50 to 60 per 50 to 60 percent more transmissible and contagious, but it doesn't appear to be more severe. And right now, the subvariant counts for 25 percent of cases in every state. That's a cause for concern as cities across the country begin to lift their COVID-19 restrictions. We almost certainly can expect it in the South as well, where we are uh, less vaccinated and less protected. There is still time, however, to use this as an opportunity when we are removing our mask and moving around a bit more freely to understand that this really is an opportunity for us to prepare and take lessons from the past to heart and uh, not let history repeat itself. Dr. Morgan says if you are up to date on your vaccinations and boosters, you're over 75 percent protected from the subvariant. Coming up on April 6th, the CDC's advisory committee will meet to discuss whether or not the COVID vaccine will be treated like the flu shot.